Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a tutorial, review, and swatches of ColourPop's That's Taupe collection. Now I always say that's so taupe and it's that's taupe. I don't get why. I've, this whole entire time I've been calling it that's so taupe. <laughs> Whatever you guys. I love the packaging by the way. Snake, oh my god you guys. Honestly, oh, and it feels, it feels, um, it has that, like, ri rise, um, texture to it. Like, you can feel the little snake scales on there. That is so freaking cool. That's the first time I noticed that. Honestly, the, when I say review, you guys, it's, it's an actually, like, a review slash first impressions. Because a lot of times, I don't touch these collections. I look at the palette, like, I open it up to make sure nothing's damaged, but I don't swatch anything. So you guys get my first, like, initial reaction to everything. Now, I love, they added the names in the back. Um, there are no safety warnings. There are no, like, glitters. They have one super shock in the palette. So the palette comes like this, and then when you open her up, she has no mirror, but she does say ColourPop right here. So these are the tones. Um, I love every single color in here. I just don't get why they added. These two are not that far off from each other. They're like super close in tone. I think I would have done well without Boa. and if, Like it would have been way better if they would have added a black. Because they added a dark matte brown. But I think just like with this tone. With this color story tone. Topes and everything. Taupe is more of a cool tone. And taupe is in the same spectrum, like the same little color story as like a black, right? Because it's a black, dark gray, gray, light gray. Like it's in that whole little family, right? That's why when they added this dark brown, I was like, that threw me off completely. I was like, why would you give me a dark brown? I mean, I still used it. I still used it, but it's like, hmm, I don't know. I still used it though. I love it. I love the whole entire thing. I just don't, I don't get these two. I don't honestly think maybe that might want to work with me. I don't even know. I didn't try her today, so I don't know. I'm pretty sure I can get away with Python because she looks like this rose tone brown gray thing going on. But like Boa, come on, you guys. Like, I don't think I can use her, okay? <laughs> I don't. So I'm going to start off with Snake Eyes, you guys. This is the little Super Shock Shadow set that they had going on. I honestly loved it. I used one of the Super Shocks today. It's super cute. So they have these two little Super Shocks. And one is called Ritz. This is more of, um, I want to say like a brown, silvery thing going on. I don't know. It's super, super cute though. So this one is Ritz. And we're just going to swatch it real quick on my hand. Ooh, she's super sheer. You guys know how Super Shock shadows work. They're sheer. They don't have a lot of pigment to them. I'm going to give another. She's more like this sheer undertone um, taupe. Definitely a taupe. But you guys see that? Like, she barely shows up to the party. I'm thinking with her, she's going to work perfectly applying over a mat. Not by her herself. Because, let me tell you, in my look, this is Kush right here on my eyes. The one that you see right there. That is the color Kush, this one. And Kush just has to be built up but she needs no introduction she is more of like this platinum silvery taupe color and she's not here to play i just had to apply her about two or three times in that area and um yeah she don't need no 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 introduction so definitely recommend kush i think you were only able to purchase as a set and not separate i could be wrong but like i said remember you guys set it and forget it i order it and i don't think about it anymore so i can't for the life of me tell you guys prices all i can tell you guys is to please look in the description box and all that stuff will be written in there for you guys there will be prices and links to the actual collection so you guys i also purchased both of the new what are they lippy sticks i believe they're called right the bff yeah lippy pencils so I have the BFF, Cool BFF and Ashton colors. I do believe that I looked at them already and I did sort of like swatch them. And I think I preferred the Ashton one. I wasn't even sure which one I preferred because 
Honestly, one's super lighter than the other. So one's gonna go like with me. Like I can still use it as a nude tone, but the other one is like too light for me, you guys. So I'm gonna start with Cool BFF. Pretty much, I'm not even sure if these are repeats. I'm pretty sure I've heard of one of them or both, but it's just the repackaging, right? That's what they do. So this is Cool BFF. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little arm swatch right here. One of them was super, super light. They look like these mauve tones browns for some reason. You see that one? That's how it would probably look on my lips. So this is Ashton right here. And Ashton, oh yeah, this one's like, they're not that far off from each other. One is more of a, I want to call it like a dark grayish tone. And this one on top, which is the cool BFF, is more of this pinky brown tone. You guys see the difference? This one's more of like a, I don't know, I want to call it like a brown gray mauve. And this one's more of like a pink brown, like a purplish pink brown, right? Right here. I don't know. I think I prefer this one on top. At the same time, maybe the one that would work best for me is this one. I don't know. I'm really confused now, so. And then we have the Ultra Glossy Lips, you guys. Both of them, I, I bought Rattler and Queen Cobra. So one is supposed to be like a, I believe it's a gloss. It's a gloss with, um tint to it so it's, it's a gloss with color um, I don't think any of them will work for me like that like honestly I don't think you're gonna be able to see this beautiful nude um, brown pink tone that's what it looks like to me and this one is super cool in person it looks like this gold champagne um, oh it smells it smells like um, cotton candy to me this one is the oh i love it you guys it looks so cute it's like this gold tone definitely a gold brown tone um glittery uh this one's called queen cobra you guys see that you guys can't really see it right we're gonna do lip swatches too so yeah so with a lip gloss this one is awesome okay <laughs> let's do the other one so this one is called rattler it is a lip gloss with color like I said it looks like this ooh this rosewood tone brown like a nude brown oh my god you guys <laughs> I'm in love with that one oh my god please work on my lips You guys, I still like it a lot. I think with a dark brown lip, like lip liner, I could totally still make this work. I think honestly, on someone lighter, like someone who doesn't have pigmented lips, even no, I think it's, it has mostly to do if you're lighter skin tone than me. This would look so pretty on you. It would look like this. Oh my god, like that. Just this brown, um, pinkish tone nude so freaking beautiful on me it looks it just looks okay it doesn't really like compliment it, i think it would have been maybe two tones darker it would have been awesome on pigments and lips because it would have complimented this but it's like right now it's barely passable i'm pretty sure there's going to be people who love it either way people who are darker than me and love it either way they could still use it like i said you could still use it we could just put like a dark brown lip liner and put this in the middle and create this ombre look on our lips and it's still passable but right now when I look for it from far away you can't even tell I have anything on you can't see the color it's until like I zoom it in that I could see that pinkish tone on my lips it's still a pretty color like it's always the same this one smells exactly the same like the other one it smells like cotton candy to me and then it's comfortable it's not sticky uh, I think long wear wise they they last they don't last like forever obviously but I found that they last at least a couple of hours maybe one or two hours given you don't eat anything right don't eat anything <laughs> 
Okay, you guys, so let's get started with the swatches. I'm going to start with this top one right here and just go across each line till we get to the end. So we're going to start with Boa, and Boa is just like this very light, light brown. Already it's looking like it's going to need at least another swatch. So that's one swatch. This is two. Super, super light, you guys. Then we have Pebble Beach. Pebble Beach is more of a taupey brown. Ooh, it looks like it's blending on my skin tone. Look at that. You can barely see. This is two swatches. You guys see it? It's right there. I'm hoping you guys see that. It's super, super like blending into my skin tone, and I think that's just the problem. So that's one on my hand of it right there. That's Pebble Beach. Then you have Python, and like I said, Python is just like this. Um, she's more of like a pinky tone gray taupe or you want to call it like that that's a super cute color just as i mentioned earlier i could still use that one as a transition shade i feel like it'll still work for me in that way in the next row we have slated which is that super shock shadow one right there i'm gonna give you guys two swatches of that one so that's one that's two i did have to apply her at least three times for my inner corner highlight because the more you apply her the more intense she got in the middle. So she's super pretty in person. Snake Eyes is so pretty. It is like this rose tone uh, taupe color. Let me tell you, I used her down here and you can barely tell I have her even on because of the fact that she blends so much in with my skin tone that it looks like I didn't put anything in that corner. So we have Cold Blooded next, and this is the one like I am dying to try. Look at that taupe gray. Oh God, that is such a beautiful color. It matches perfectly with the shirt I have on. That one, look at that. You guys see that? Such a beautiful gray. I'm gonna give you guys another um, swatch of that one. But look at that color. In the next row you have Rocksteady. This was my transition shade. I really, really love this color. It's honestly like a taupey gray, very dark. I love it. Then you have Constrictor, definitely one of my favorites too. It is a shimmer. It is like this khaki brown thing with these gold specks in there. Super pretty. And then lastly, we have Bedrock, and that is just like a dark matte um, brown color. She is pigmented. So those are the tones right there. Obviously, this doesn't fit every single skin tone, right? Clearly, this is a cool tone palette and not everybody likes cool tones. I always hear people constantly saying, I am a warm tone person. I cannot wear cool tones. Well, I am a warm tone person and I can wear cool tones. It just depends on the range of like shades of cool tones that you're giving me. Some of them are complement my skin tone and some of them throw it completely off so it just depends so i'm gonna let you guys go don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed please it helps me out a whole lot and if you're already subscribed thank you guys so much for being here for always watching me and helping me out you know commenting likes all that stuff helps me out so other than that if you guys want to see i created this look today just stay tuned okay you guys so for my transition shade i'm gonna go in with this one that's called rock steady it is like a super um dark granite gray color i like it i just thought there's like that first whole row pretty much only this one would probably work for me and then i was like okay we'll just stick to these ones right here this is more suited towards my skin tone <laughs> so that is the one you guys are gonna see me use So for the next color I used, I used this one in the middle that is a shimmer. It's called Constrictor. It is like this super between a khaki and this gray tone. And it has like this tiniest hint of gold shimmer coming out through it. I don't know. I heck I liked it. So I was like, I'm using that one. And I basically just applied it all over my eyelid using my finger. So for the next color I used, I went in with Bedrock right here, and it's just like this dark matte chocolate brown. 
I am in love with that color only because I am appreciative that they added that color at all. In a way, I don't get why they added a chocolate brown, but I'm not hating it at all because it does deepen, you know, especially if you want to smoke it out, especially for deeper skin tones. The warmer skin tone, like showing shades that you have here, the more options we have. So that's, that's the thing. It just threw me off because I was expecting a black, not a matte brown. <laughs> because this whole aesthetic, like, you know, snakes, I don't know. I thought maybe either a deep, like, smoky gray or a black. That's what I thought. But that's the one you guys are going to see me use. I'm just going to add her right here and then down here. And then over here, I'm going to add a different color. So that is what I'm going to do. So for the next color that I used, you guys, I use Snake Eyes right here, and it is like this, I want to call it like almost this um, pinky tone gray, because it does have that hint of this champagne pink for some reason mixed in with that gray, but I basically applied her right here. Um, towards the end of the whole look, I kind of didn't like how she turned out, because she does sort of like flake off, but I'm not completely hating her, right? I just thought maybe I was like, oh, well, it doesn't really stand out on its own. It mostly, like, blends in with my skin tone. So I don't recommend, if you're my skin tone, to use her the way I used her because she almost looks like this hidden concealer in there, and she doesn't really stand out on her own. I thought she was going to just brighten up, like, like the inner corner highlight, right? I thought she was going to stand out on her own like that. But she blends in not perfectly, but almost to a hint where she kind of looks like my skin tone and doesn't really look like I did anything in that corner. And that's my point. That's why I said don't use her like that. But that's basically what you guys are going to see me do. So for my inner corner highlight, you guys, I went in with the Super Shock Shadow in here. It's called Slated. And it is the super bright... Um, champagne vanilla color i don't know i liked it in the end i had to apply her at least i want to say two or three times maybe three i might be wrong because the first time she just came out like a little light dim shimmer you know super shocks that's how they are you have to build them up so second time it was just okay third time it's like we on the money <laughs> so that's basically what i'm doing i'm just gonna put her in the corner right there using my finger And then I use um, one of the Super Shock Shadows from the collection, you guys. I use the one that's called, I believe it's called Ritz. No, this one's called Kush. And um, it's super pretty, you guys. It looks like this champagne silver tones almost. I don't know, but that was like one of the ones, actually out of the ones when I kept seeing them online, this was the one I fell in love with. But it came in a set. I don't remember if they were selling them separate. I think they were just in the set, and that's why I got the set. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm basically going to take that shade and I'm just going to pat it right here between that dark brown and that um, color that's right here, the constricting color, I believe it's called. Yeah, the constrictor color. Because see what I did right here? I just patted her just in like a line right here between this dark brown and the constrictor color. So that's what basically what I'm going to do in that same thing. I'm just going to apply it with my finger. And I'm putting in a straight little line right here between those two, okay? And that's pretty much it, you guys. Let me just go put on some mascara on this eye, and I'll be right back to give you guys a close-up. So, this is the finished eye look today, you guys. I'm hoping you guys like it. I am... <laughs> I love this. <laughs> it looks really nice. I love the way it turned out. I don't know. Um... I had such a hard time with Juvia's place, the topes, and I didn't like it how it came out on me. And this one's like, I like it. So let me back you guys out and give you guys my final thoughts on this palette. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I actually like, like this palette. Like, <laughs> I had such a hard time. If you guys saw my Juvia's place, the topes, it's not to say Juvia's place is a bad brand or anything like that. I just think those tones, those specific tones in that palette did not fit my skin tone perfectly because I saw it being used on people who were darker than me and it looked so beautiful and even on people lighter than me it's just for some reason I don't know I must be this off some in-between color that didn't <laughs> that those tones did not work for 
I feel like these ones, even the, the last, obviously the last row works for me. The second row is all shimmer, so it still works for me. I'm still confident that Python would make a perfect transition shade for me. I'm just not too thrilled about Boa and Pebble Beach. And in reality, if we look at it this way, Boa and Pebble Beach are not that off from each other. There may be about one or two tone difference, and I'm not crazy about that. I would have loved this palette a thousand times more, I think, if they would have kept Pebble Beach. Keep it. Get rid of Boa and give me a black. Give me a black. It's it's a freaking tote palette. I don't know. I think it would have complemented better. It would have made a better, like, snake aesthetic to it. I don't know. That's how I think, at least. But other than that, I love these tones. I think I love it. A, it's like a hundred times more better it's with these, with the, the snake eyes, because I think... If you like Super Shock Shadows, given, you know, not everybody likes Super Shocks. I just think with those tones, you can create a lot more looks. Even with that Super Shock right here, that one's so beautiful. I can imagine that one, if I would have used that one as like an overall lid, it would have brightened up the look so much more. And then to deepen that darker with the same black, I think it just... I just honestly used Constrictor because that's the color that I gravitated more towards. That's why I used it. And cold blooded, it's such a beautiful gray, um, this gray khaki tone. I don't know, I love that color. I wanted to use that today. You can tell it's like a grayish taupe color. That shimmer, I'm so in love with that one. I would have honestly loved to create it another look with you guys, but I have so many other videos I have to do that I couldn't do it. Because I still have to do the Stone Cold palette, and I want to compare those shades with this one. I'm pretty sure... I'm going to love the Coastone palette even more because it has more options and it has a black shade in there. So that makes it better. So <laughs> I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. Bye, you guys. Bye.